guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have another unboxing video for you. We'll be looking at the Aklot 5 String Banjo. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Oops. There we go. Oh, very nice. Alrighty. So here you can see it came packed in a gig bag and it came with a number of accessories. Let's go ahead and look at the accessories first. Okay, this instrument comes with a, uh, a tuner. It comes with a shoulder strap along with the hardware in order to attach it to the, uh, the uh, brackets on the, uh, on the rim of the banjo. It comes with this tool to adjust the brackets and also to adjust the uh, tension rod. It comes with an Allen key or Allen wrench to adjust the truss rod. It comes with a set of steel finger picks. It comes with a cleaning cloth, and it comes with a spare set of banjo strings. So let's go ahead and look at the, the instruments and the bag that it came in. All right, let's go ahead and look at the bag here first, and the instrument last. Okay, so this bag, it looks like a basic kind of a bag, not super, super thick maybe 10 millimeters worth of padding on it. It opens up to the bottom, but it opens up plenty wide enough for the instrument to get in and out of. It does have a uh, pocket here on it. It's not a bellowing pocket, it's fairly flat. And of course it has the Aklot logo on it. This bag also has a, uh, a basic webbing carrying handle, along with two basic webbing shoulder straps. So not super rigid, not a lot of padding, but certainly enough to to protect it for some light sort of uh, activity. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at this instrument. You can see here it has the uh, the saddle, bridge and saddle, um, not mounted yet. We'll need to do that. And again, that is a, uh, a maple saddle with the ebony cap on it. And for the bigger video, Okay, there we go. All right, so this has the sort of a traditional banjo shaped headstock with the Aklot logo on it there. And that logo appears to be laser etched. This is the truss rod cover. Uh, this does have paper on the strings, so let's go ahead and take that off. Alrighty, good. Under the strings, it comes with this plastic uh, bridge positioning guide. It's clear plastic. Hopefully you can see it there in the light. And the way this works is you basically uh, put the end of it up here at the nut. And where it comes on the other end is where you mount the saddle. Uh, this is described in the literature as being uh, a maple. I think it says tiger maple, and it looks like here in the headstock, there is some flame you can see on the, uh, on the headstock there. It appears to have a, a sort of a flame maple veneer on the headstock, because you can see here it has a, or maybe you can't see very well, it has a scarf joint going right through the middle of the headstock, but it's not visible on the front. Oh, nice. You, you can't see the scarf joint on the back either because the scarf joint comes through right here where the volute is. So in addition to having a maple neck, it also has a maple fretboard with the position markers here you can see in the face of it. You can see the position markers in the binding on the side. Again, it looks like it's, uh, it looks like it's black ABS binding. And I should say that the frets 
are not sharp. So it's very smooth neck there. All right, you can see the fifth tuning machine there and the little fifth string nut as well. This instrument does have a, a joint through the heel, which is typical of banjos, and it's a slightly different color there, so it, you can, it really does stand out. The pot is also reportedly uh, maple. Here you can see the tension rod. All right. In addition to uh, having a Remo drum head, it also has an armrest, which is quite nice. That'll be convenient. And also you can see here, here's a tailpiece. And it looks like I need to do some, uh, some setup on that. That looks it's uh, a kilter that might have gotten jostled in shipping. All right, but from first looks at this, and I should say, let's look at the neck here kind of quickly here. From the first looks of this, it looks pretty nice. Again, this is a, plainly an open-backed banjo. So let me go ahead and uh, set up the bridge on this, get the tailpiece all straightened away, uh, tune it up, and we'll get a first sound sample. Alrighty, I've set up the bridge and I've uh, brought this up to pitch. And I should say that um, when you're setting up the bridge, you'll see that the bridge uh, has a bit of a, like one side is uh, perpendicular, the other side is sloped. Make sure you have the slope side pointing toward the headstock. That's the, the correct way to set this up. Right now this is tuned to uh, G, D, G, B, and then E. Typical tuning is D is G, D, G, B, D. I have this D, G, B, E, uh, or essentially Chicago tuning, only because I'm more familiar with those shapes right now as I'm a relative novice to, uh, to banjos. But let me go ahead and um, uh, let you hear this again. And again, this is open-backed. And what I like about this is if I want to quiet it down, I just stuff a sock in there and it's uh, not as loud throughout the house. So there you go, first little sound sample. As you can see, I'm still relatively new to the banjo, and uh, I still have issues with uh, some of the stretches since it's a longer scale that I'm used to playing. But it has a very unique sound. And whether you strum it or whether you pick it, it's a fun instrument to play. So again, today, this is the sort of the unboxing and first looks. I'll go ahead and play this for oh, a couple weeks or so, try to improve my technique, and come back and give you a full review. But right now, first looks, first glance are, it's a pretty nice little instrument. I really love the feel of this, this uh, maple neck. So I hope you found today's unboxing video useful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.